Hey everyone and welcome back to Factuality. Today we are going to talk about the most amazing concept and futuristic super yacht. There's no doubt in the fact that the world of yachting is both glamorous and exclusive. Riding on, let alone owning a yacht, is a status symbol relatively unmatched in the world. And since well-designed yachts often fetch seven-figure sums, it makes sense that the yacht building industry is among the most competitive on the planet. So much so that shipyards will recruit top architects and designers to outfit the interiors in magazine-worthy motifs. Here are some of the most amazing future yacht concepts that will surely amaze you. Aqua Concept Super Yacht Whoever said that greener super yachts sacrifice style has never laid eyes on Aqua, the concept by Dutch design studio Sinot Yacht Architecture and Design that was unveiled at the 2020 Monaco Yacht Show. The 367-foot super yacht is fueled by liquefied hydrogen stored in two futuristic-looking vacuum-isolated tanks, which are converted into electrical energy and stored in battery packs. Moving through the water with the help of water, clever, and it means that water is the the only byproduct of the system. Beyond its eco edge and true to her name, Aqua's profound connection with the water continues as a design influence in its cascading decks and large swimming platform, floor to ceiling windows connecting interior spaces with exterior decks and scenic sea views. Because at this price point, there's no compromising on the environment or aesthetics. Isn't perfection the ultimate concept? It was widely reported that Mr. Gates ordered this super yacht, but in reality, he is not interested in this. Sinot said it had no business relationship with Bill Gates. It added that the concept yacht called Aqua was not linked to either him or any of his representatives. Aqua is a concept under development and has not been sold to Mr. Gates, a spokeswoman said. Project L. Celebrated designer Thierry Gauguin and boutique brokerage super yacht Monaco have been working together on a collaboration that could change the course of yachting history. The astounding 390-foot Project L, which has been inspired by a dream of paradise. The innovative yacht will be powered by a diesel-electric hybrid propulsion system, balancing fuel efficiency with autonomy for long-range cruising. Shaped like a smooth beach pebble, Project L is designed to glide through the water and will be able to fully open to the elements, creating a direct connection between guests and the natural environment. Project L isn't a concept of something that may eventually work, says director of Super Yachts Monaco, Alex Banning. The engineering has been studied and verified to perform. L can be built and Thierry and I sincerely hope, one day soon, she'll be developed to an owner as unique as her. If you like the video so far and would like to see similar content in the future, then please hit the like button and subscribe. It's that simple. Help us grow the channel and be part of the community and we'll make sure to always give you new quality content worth talking about. No fluff, just facts. So subscribe. We'd love to have you be part of our channel. Now, back to the list. Migma. Founded by designers who previously worked in the automotive industry, specifically at Ferrari, Rumor Design is a studio that aims to emulate the finesse and precision of automobiles in other sectors. A natural connection was made between supercars and luxury vessels, with the team at Rumor moving towards a sleek catamaran design with a low center of gravity and sinuous design. The result is Rumor's award-winning design for Migma, a noiseless 180 feet electric catamaran that runs on hydrogen power. Translated from Greek, Migma means mixture. A Name that is apt for this catamaran, the concept mixes unique spacing, its core structure is in the middle, with elements growing out of it, with innovative engineering techniques and fluid design that is reminiscent of marine wildlife. Fun fact, did you know Azam has held the title of the world's longest super yacht since 2013, owned by Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan, President of the United Arab Emirates and Emir of Abu Dhabi, Azam's sophisticated exterior was designed by Italian studio Nauta Design. Much of the yacht's interiors, which were created by French designer Christophe Leone, remain shrouded in mystery, but Leone describes the aesthetic as sophisticated, with luxurious decor inspired by the empire style of the early 19th century. Azam has every nifty feature you could wish for, including a helipad, gym, pool, and even a golf training room so guests can practice their swing on board. Like Eclipse, she also boasts her own missile defense system. Despite her stature, she can lay claim to being one of the world's fastest super yachts with a top speed of 33 knots. REV Ocean Currently still in build, REV is set to steal the crown from Azam to become the biggest superyacht in the world once she is delivered. But this is no normal superyacht. Funded by Norwegian businessman Kjell Ingroch, REV is a totally unique state-of-the-art research and expedition vessel with one ambition, to make the ocean healthy again. Designed by Espin Oino, the vessel is creating a huge amount of excitement within the industry due to the technological advances she is set to offer, including cutting-edge marine science facilities. The 
supersized vessel is equipped with the very latest observation and mapping equipment for conducting research encapsulating the entire marine ecosystem. One of many exciting features is the 25-foot moon pool in the hull, designed to lower scientific tools and submersibles into the ocean's depths, including a three-passenger submarine. The expected year of release is 2023. Futura, when looking for inspiration for their 66-meter fossil-free yacht concept, Dutch studio Vipak used creatures like birds and sharks as their source. More specifically, they studied how they're able to propel themselves through the air and water with seemingly no effort at all. That's the beauty of naval architecture, said Vipak, co-creative director Marnix Hoekstra. First and foremost, you should mimic nature in the sense that you use as little energy as possible when crossing through the waves. We were driven by that goal from the outset. The resulting design is slender, efficient, and a third of the height of a comparable 66-meter yacht. With long flowing lines, a cocoon-like superstructure, and a streamlined bow and rounded middle, Futura is meant to share its shape with the whale. Plus, made out of glass, it's also super light in weight thanks to Vipac's engineering team that uses rhombus-shaped framing in the design, which ends up offering a cross-hatched effect, just like fish scales. Boats are very interesting vessels. Here are some fun facts about boats that you might not have heard about. Number 1. Good luck and bad luck omens are different on a boat than on dry land. For instance, whistling on a boat is expected to bring upon strong winds and is therefore considered bad luck. Bananas on a boat are also seen as bad luck especially on fishing boats. It is thought that fish do not bite on a hook if there are bananas close by. Finding a cat on a boat, on the other hand, is considered good luck, even if it is a black cat. Cats eat rats and keep the boat clean and safe. Number two, the youngest person to sail around the world is Laura Decker. She is a 14-year-old that went off to sail around the world in 2012 and finished her trip 518 days later when she was 16. Number three, a party yacht has tripped over once as all the passengers moved to one side to have a better look at a New Beach in Texas. Number four, a 2004 study has confirmed that joining a cruise ship after retirement is cheaper than retiring to a retirement home. Number five, the difference between a boat and a ship lies in its weight. If a vessel is over 500 tons then it is called a ship. A ship can also carry a boat. We are almost at the end of the list with the best yet to come, so keep watching. Avangardia, Italian designer Pier Paolo Lazzarini of Lazzarini Design Studio has been behind some of the team's most innovative designs, but Avangardia is arguably his most daring yet. Translating to Vanguard in English, the mega yacht concept forms the shape of a gigantic swan thanks to its detachable head, which works as a control tower. Due to an extendable crane bridge positioned in the bow, the head can be lowered down to the center of the vessel while it's at sea. In fact, Avangardia's length would increase by around 20 meters, taking its total length to 157 meters when it's brought down. If that wasn't impressive enough, the control tower can also be removed from the vessel and used as a completely separate boat. The rest of the yacht is divided into five main decks, with the rear deck comprising a personal port for two jet capsules. The yacht concept also has two onboard helicopters and two helicopter hangars. As for speed, its twin fully electric side engines and central MTU rolls Royce jet engine will allow it to achieve a maximum estimated cruising speed of about 18 knots, according to the design studio. Code Casa Jet 2020 Italian shipyard Code Casa has created a one-of-a-kind superyacht concept with the unveiling of their Code Casa Jet 2020, an idea that has been heavily inspired by the aviation industry and aims to break the mold of the typical lines found in yacht design. At 230 feet, if built, Code Casa Jet 2020 would become the flagship yacht of Code Casa shipyards. Various sections of the Code Casa Jet 2020 borrow from aviation design, from the cockpit-shaped bow to the air inlets reminiscent of jet engines, as well as the aft, which features a sun deck evocative of the tail of an aircraft. There would be a total of five cabins on board for guests, including an owner's suite on the main deck. It also has been designed to feature a sky lounge, dining room, covered gymnasium, and a sunken swimming pool. My Roswell one of the latest concepts from prolific artist and designer George Lucian, the My Roswell is a 210 feet super yacht that will be created entirely out of aluminium. The concept has been designed to be fully electric with large electrical panels that would cover a number of the yacht's horizontal surfaces. There would also be two electric diesel engines on board as a backup. Lucian started with the idea of creating an iconic worldwide recognizable yacht inspired by the future when designing My Roswell. The yacht's shape takes its inspiration from spacecraft 
and military stealth vessels. It would have room for 12 guests and 12 crew and feature a large covered outdoor area, lounge, dining area and beam length swimming pool on the main deck. There is also allocated space on the upper deck for a helicopter platform and sky lounge. Well that's all we have for today and we hope you enjoyed it. Which one of these yachts will be released first? Let us know in the comments below and please remember to subscribe to have you become part of our channel. Until next time.